Hey guys, this is Andre from eTrueHub.com uh, and I wanted to make a video today. Basically it's been a long time since I've done a video on YouTube. Um, earlier it was about streaming and MTG Arena. Um, you might have seen my earlier video this year, uh, posted in January I think, uh, about stopping streaming and working more on the site, uh, starting to enjoy coding a lot more and also building the website is a lot more fun to me than streaming so I I have kind of given that up um, I have been streaming every Friday lately on the Eater League we have had a really nice turning going on big thanks to our sponsors the Shadow Nexus for sponsoring uh, the hundred dollar price the finals is coming up this is yeah it's the 19th of April about in four days gonna have the finals um, so that is gonna be the last time I stream or ha or being on a weekly schedule um, but I do want to engage in the community and one of these ways is but well, YouTube um, did not really enjoy making it's not that I didn't enjoy, really enjoy making videos earlier but it was it, it, it is a hassle with all the cutting and editing and uh, it was getting so boring, so I stopped doing it. Uh, I'm trying to do a more raw format now, uh, just me sitting here talking, and I'm not gonna do a lot of editing. I might have to do some editing uh, to cut out some boring parts with me just staring out of the out into the blank. Uh, but I'm hoping to get uh, more skilled at this, so I don't have to edit a lot because I'm, a, I'm basically a lazy person and uh, if it's a lot of work I don't want to bother with it. So um, we're, we're trying this now where I'm doing it in a more raw format and providing... I'm going to talk about EtroHub, the future of our functions and yeah, whatever we do on a weekly. Try to keep it on a weekly basis. Uh, I am also trying to... I'm. Well, I, I'm not sure where I want to go with this, but I'm thinking about maybe a bit vloggish, like stuff I'm up to, stuff I want to talk about basically. It can be anything. Um, so if you're watching this, you are probably watching from the feed of Etherhub, the front page. Uh, as you might have seen, you probably should have seen, is that we have done a huge makeover on the site this, uh, this last month. Uh, we did a big graphical update and uh, I have uh, just started working, well, I actually co come a long uh, way on making the social functions on EtroHub. The front page is now a feed where you can see what all the content creators and people are up to on EtroHub. I uh, want to delve in a little bit into that and what I'm working on right now is the uh, notification system. Uh, basically, it's going to be a bell actually come a long way with it already uh, I'm I've, I'm basically done with the follower notifications so w when you get a follower uh, there will be a little bell up in the right corner uh, I think I'm ready to release that in a couple of days there's also I also have to code in some stuff about the uh, well getting getting likes is gonna show up in the bell and getting comments is gonna show in the bell it's basically those two things and I have to do a lot of testing and it's ready uh, what is also coming is the premium functionality um, vessel of the creation my uh, my partner in crime on the site it's us two that's been working on the site now for we've been worked uh, working on it for two years now we have come a long way from <laughs> the initial start uh, it, uh, it's funny to think about we didn't think Etherhub would be would be going in this direction now it's starting to to become more of a social platform and I think that's the right way to go about it uh, it wasn't uh, this was not in our plans from the start but I think an important aspect to to well an important skill to have is to be able to adapt and kind of social like doing social things is kind of in in a trend and I also feel like it's a lot more fun to engage in a site where you can um, where you can follow people and you can comment on their stuff and you see you there's always something new when you open the site uh, we're hoping to to grow a lot more in the future in the near future uh, future uh, there's also uh, 
the War of the Spark release coming up. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we have a lot of traffic during those times, um, so it's gonna be fun to see people come back. Uh, basically, right now uh, we have a steady flow of users using the site, but during the uh, the, uh, the release and pre-release and stuff, there's a lot of new. Uh, both new and old people coming back and we have had a lot of change this last month so i look forward to seeing some feedback on that if you have any feedback on the system or anything anything you want to see on the site feel free to leave a comment below or better yet join the discord which is there <laughs> the address if you have a discord user we have a feedback channel and we have a lot of streamers part of team ether in the discord uh, basically well, it's a lot of fun in there. Um, it's where I am all of the time. I communicate a lot in that channel. Um, not really good at keeping track of my YouTube channel. I am gonna try doing that and hopefully I won't feel the YouTube channel is a lot of work. Because uh, it, it was a hassle to like cut and edit all the time. Even though it didn't, I didn't use a lot of time on it, it, it still consumed an hour, an hour and a half. And I would like to to do a bit more of a raw format. And it, it will be really clunky now in the beginning, because I'm not really uh, uh, used to... Well, I'm used to streaming, so there's no retakes there. But trying to be a little bit interesting and talk about some interesting stuff and having the flow of conversation going is still something that I'm working on. So... I hope to be better at that in the future. Uh, basically, these first videos is probably gonna be very clunky, so forgive me for that. I am, as I'm said, I'm gonna try keeping this uh, up at a weekly schedule. Not always about Etro Hub. Um, I might be talking about stuff we're we're doing and things that are coming there. And um, yeah, basically now it's about getting the social functionality done, the premium functionality done. And also having to talk with the content creators about we have a sponsoring system going on where we sponsor people um, so that has been good we have a lot of good feedback on that coming from streamers especially it's been very useful for, for smaller streamers to get a bit more visibility uh, also had some feedback from one of, one of the bigger streamers that they uh, they found it useful so I'm glad for that uh, I'm not sure which direction I want to go with it yet uh, gonna keep it up for War of the Spark uh, so reaching out to people for that probably the next season 2 with uh, Magic 2020 coming uh, it might be something that we well basically use it while, while uh, it is running it might go away I'm not sure how we want to go with it. Uh, I don't I don't know if our users think it's spammy or whatever. Um, it remains to be seen. If it goes away, it will be replaced by commercials. So I don't I don't know where, where I want to go with that. Uh, if you people have any feedback with that, if you think it's annoying, uh, if you if you think it's a good thing, if it helps you discover people, new people to follow, uh, let me know. I'm interested in any feedback. Basically, I do not get a lot of feedback on stuff. There are some people talking, but it's usually the same people that gives me feedback and stuff that doesn't work. And please do know, if you see something that doesn't work, please let me know, because I usually fix everything quite quickly if there is anything. So if, if, you, can, if you, you see any errors, uh, let me know, because I probably don't know about it. Etrab is starting to get quite big. And it's hard to, it's hard to test everything. Uh, basically, we can't, we can't test everything. Uh, due to the speed we we are keeping up with, uh, we keep releasing new stuff all the time. So lately, it's been on an almost daily basis because I wanted to to p really push out this social uh, social stuff, and it seems to be working. People are having a lot of fun. People are commenting stuff, uh, but it also made me realize that I have to <laughs> expand a lot of what I, I at the first I th thought it would be a quick fix. It would be like a weekend, but then I saw that like there's some comments and stuff that I really need to give the opportunity for people to report them so we can censor some of the stuff people are, people are saying all the dumb shit unfortunately but that that's how it is uh, so basically i look forward to releasing some videos uh, and i hope uh, i hope it will um, i hope you find it interesting basically 
I don't I don't know. If there's something you want me to talk about about on the site, like anything, uh, what tools we use, I will try to talk about well, well whatever you want in the degree that I can talk about it. There are um, there are the uh, there are some things I obviously can't talk about. I can't really show you the code, but I can talk about the platforms we are using and stuff like that. Uh, we are not like in a traditional open source sense, uh, like uh, many other sites are. We are coding in C sharp and are using Microsoft platforms for uh, for our site. Um, it has been a really good experience. I've learned a lot. I'm not a web dev. Uh, at the core, I am uh, IT. I'm an IT person. I work with networks. Work a lot with uh, Cisco systems, firewall security, uh, VLAN switches and routing. Uh, all of that. I find technology a lot of fun. Uh, so it's been a real experience for me these two last years, learning, uh, learning, uh, learning C sharp. Uh, and I'm I still I'm still a noob, uh, but. Being very familiar with technology and how stuff works has helped me. So, um, and we have Vessel of Creation, which is a prof professional uh, coder. Uh, so, uh, basically, we have a good team. And uh, I work with everything from the hardware to the software and to coding and everything. I get my hands dirty on everything, and it's been a really fun experience. Um, yeah, basically, I hope to hear from you, and I look forward to releasing these little snippets. I'm um, gonna try not... Well, this this time, at least for now, I'm not gonna edit this video. It's gonna be raw. It's probably gonna be cringy. I am sorry. Uh, but I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>